action? Yeah. Y'all don't know how I did that. Oh. You, really, you really like that fire over there? All right, got you. There's a lot of reasons why I like going back to Ohio. I mean, that place pretty much made me who I am and had a big influence on it. As weird as that sounds, because Ohio's small hills, but it did, you know. And uh, I have my charity rail jam going on, which I've done for numerous years, and it's fun for me to ride there. Like, it's a different, whole different pace. You know, I get to ride a bunch of rails and ride until three in the morning, because it's open mad late, and see friends that I grew up with who are home for the holidays also, and see family. <laughs> I just wanted to say thanks for everyone coming. Cheers to my mother for making the food, Pej for delivering the food all the way from California <laughs> on some of it. But no, I'm glad to be home. It's always nice to be back with family. So let's enjoy the feast, eat a lot until we can't move, and then let's dance the night away. Yeah. Yay. Salute. You're here. Salute. 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 Prost. My dad owns the radio stations there. And my mom owns the Jazzercise there, which is funny because it's like smaller than Salt Lake. In Salt Lake, the Jazzercise classes have like five people, 20 maybe. My mom has like 70. This is where Louie got his moves, Junior Jazzercise with Mary Giannola. My mom doesn't really like to have a spotlight. You know, she's like some, we're probably one of the most mellow people I've ever met. You know, she just likes to, you know, support her kids, make sure everybody else is having a great time. And so, we're gonna put the spotlight on her right now and uh, celebrate her birthday. Oh yeah. Happy birthday, dear Jim. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. There's a lot of them, so get them. I have a sister, she's 26. I didn't get to see her that much because I started going to Stratton Mountain School, winter of eighth grade, and then all through high school. This is a Jazzercise type one, so she'd be good at this one. I think I think Lindsay's gonna take this one. Yeah. Home Mountain is small, really small. There wasn't really even a park when I was snowboarding there. But I just love the snowboard. You know, it's open for night riding, so I can go after school. On the weekends, you can go at night, early in the morning. My dad and I started from day one together, so I think what helped me and what I was really lucky is my dad developed a passion for snowboarding before I even knew what having a passion for a sport was. Welcome to my world and my dream. WPKO and WBLL, the peak of Ohio. The highest point in Ohio, right here. There it is, uh, my daughter, and, my, and there's little Louie and, and his sister, but Louie's got the uh, Larry King look. My parents thought it was good to put their kids in gymnastics like pre-puberty just because it's, it really does carry over to any sport. I mean, I, I, snowboarding has helped me a lot because of just the air awareness. And I had trouble with the whole like saluting the judges and like, you know, it just was too formal and too proper for me and that wasn't me. And when I got older, I kind of realized that, and all I wanted to do was snowboard. Welcome to Mad River Mountain. This is my uh, old stomping ground. That's the top. You can see the top from here. Ten minutes up, ten seconds down. So let's go get some runs. We out here, 3 a.m. Pass is good until 3 a.m. Extreme adult. Big ups, man. Big ups to Louis V. X Games, got it. Thank you. US Gold Medal, got it. Dude. <laughs> I like that, dude. <laughs> what up, Louis Vito? Viper Mountain, riding here. <laughs> Evan, Aaron, and Matt. That's what's up. Oh, I used to coach him in soccer, man. He knows where it's at, man. He gives back to kids, he gives back to the community. Like, he's a good guy. I've known this guy forever, too. <laughs> Long time. I actually 
fell asleep when I was really little. I fell asleep on the bunny chairlift, and I had to have a snowmobile, a ski patrol guy, like, walk up the chairlift me. It was, like, super hot day, and the chair kept on stopping, and I was falling asleep. He had to keep me awake all the way to the top. It's a true story. Ask my dad. No, I was stoked, you know, ride, whether it was after school, on the weekends, day, night. Anytime I could snowboard, I was stoked, and it was pretty much where I rode all the time, right here. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. He has no idea. We've watched you, but he's going to just be thrilled. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> How are you? Hi, how are you? Look at all these, I see all these ladies you get to hang out with every day. You're lucky. So we went and met up with this kid, Alex Malarkey, who actually has a New York bestseller selling book called The Boy Who Came Back From Heaven. And it's a pretty crazy, true story. And I didn't even know, but I guess he's a big snowboarding fan. I brought you a beanie that we made when I was in the Olympics, because it's winter time. Gotta keep that head of yours warm. Oh my God. I brought you some posters and a t-shirt. Anything else in your room, you can probably find it, so. Oh my God. <laughs> of course, man. Thanks for having me over. <laughs> yep, I'll be there. Uh, just half five. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna watch? Yeah, it's gonna be good. I gotta learn a few more tricks before, but. <laughs> I will definitely be watching. I'm in shock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in shock that I get to meet you, man. He was super cool. He knew so much about snowboarding and just sports in general. He's a big sports fanatic, so. Yeah. I, you want me to sign this? Come on, dude. I don't know. It's so cool without <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, like... <laughs> I want to see the signature. Did oh, this is sweet. <laughs> You're an inspiration, man, so just keep on working hard. I guess it's cool for him to hang out with me, but for me, it was really cool and special for me to get to hang out with him, if that makes sense. Welcome to Ohio, where the weather changes every 10 minutes. It was snowing yesterday, two days ago, then we got into rain, then it got windy, Today saw a, we saw all four seasons in one day. And it happened right here. We have the Louis Vito Rail Jam. All charity, instead of money, because everyone spends enough money snowboarding, to canned food product to enter. Um, we have prizes for age groups that my sponsors all donate. People get wild, people chill. Trevor Andrews playing with uh, Trouble Andrew Group. But my whole thing, give back to the community, give back to the kids. They helped me get to me, get me to where I am. And you know, I was one of those kids that met River when I was little. And I just want to stoke them out because I don't forget where I come from. And I'm Ohio to the death of me. <laughs> To me, I mean, that's what snowboarding and being out here and, and on the hill and like with your bros is all about. It's about having good times, pushing each other, laughing, falling, getting up, doing it again. That's what we do, you know what I mean? That's why I got into snowboarding when I was a little kid. and. Uh, and we just keep pushing forward, man. It's awesome to see Louie, you know, bring it all together. And Trouble is here, so I definitely endorse that. Another success here at Louis Vito Rail Jam. It's raining, but that can't stop us. Great crowd, fireworks, great setup. Trouble Andrew killed it. We raised a bunch of money, a bunch of food. Thanks for coming. Ryan and I got to check out the ramp. We got to go walk down the whole runway, stand on the takeoffs, which was pretty mind bobbling that they can even make it that far. 